I'm designing a composting toilet for a friend and the design that I've come up with is to go in a camper trailer. The problem that she's experiencing now is she has to pay about eighty dollars every month to have her black water tank emptied and she would like to be able to avoid that expense and I've had some experience building composting toilets before so I thought I would give this a try although it's a different kind of design. On the left side here these are going to be reversed. I'll have toilet paper storage on the side under a lid, a narrow lid, and cedar shavings, compost, cat litter in the front bin. And what I have is a five gallon plastic bucket. It's a Homer bucket from Home Depot that fits under a standard, standard size toilet seat, not elongated, standard. You could design this for elongated. It would just need to be a little deeper front to back. The bucket is going to be lined with a tall kitchen liner with drawstring and in Louisiana these bags of human refuse can be thrown in any trash can. That's legal. These are the dimensions. I have letters for each of the dimensions in case I needed to change those. It's easier to change them in one place. This is what I'm going to face wood cutouts on. I have a sheet of half inch cabinet grade plywood from Home Depot, about $35, uh, about 42 with tax. And the way that I'd like to cut those boards to minimize the amount of waste. So I have each of those labeled and the dimensions. And this is the plywood here that I'm going to be using. Uh, this says Columbia Carb P2 Pure Bond FF1 half, 48 0.5 by 96 so it's a real nice no knot holes no holes in the end grain and uh, so it'll be very nice and I think this is the bottom the other side I think is even nicer than this so that is what I'll start with I'm cutting the lid out right now and I'm using a Ryobi 18 volt cordless lithium and a uh, circular saw and an 18 volt cordless Ryobi reciprocating saw. These are charged by the solar panels I have on the roof and storage battery system. So this reciprocating saw will be used to do the finishing cut because I can't see the line. So that's my next step. Okay, the nine pieces have been cut they're re they've been sanded, they're ready to be painted, so that will be the next step. All right, I use Rust-Oleum Ultra Cover Gloss White, a quart of paint, and use maybe half of that. Type Mon 2, wood glue, and nail gun and a jigsaw. The nail gun with the glue was used to put the box together. The nails mostly hold everything together till the glue sets. The jigsaw was used to cut out the hole for the toilet seat. And I'll show the assembled toilet after I put the hinges on. I'm using half inch screws because this plywood is half inch thick. This is the completed toilet, and handles for carrying, probably weighs about 15, 20 pounds. Storage for toilet paper and uh, kitchen liners. The front compartment is for cedar shavings. The, um, the inside is set so that 
I can put a bucket, five gallon bucket. in between the spacers so that it's in the proper position to take the bucket out lift up the handle, the handle goes in the back the initial flush if you would call it that, is to take one scoop, one cup of cedar shavings and drop that in the bottom of the bag. After it, going to the bathroom, take another cup of cedar shavings and sprinkle that on top. And that's it. That's how it works. When the bag is as full as you want it to be, tie it up, drop it in a trash can. Or if you're going to compost, you could empty it into a compost heap and let it age. That's it.